If you look closely at our code here, you're going to see that we have a unidirectional data flow here. So a unidirectional data flow is where you have your logic or your data and all of your functionality in your store. But the component then only becomes a way to display the data. So it becomes a dumb component. So basically it gets all of its data or st state from your store and then it calls functions to update the store. So if you look at your component now, you can see that in the component, we're actually not doing anything. There's no functionality. But as you can see, we have the store and we have the category input. So we're getting the input and we are sending that input to the store. Then we are getting the output through the store here. And we're just showing this on the UI. Also, the unidirectional data flow allows us to separate the business logic. And so it really helps us to organize and reason about our application structure and our applications flow. There are less complications and there are less opportunities to actually mix up different things, mix up different functionalities and have weird errors and bugs when your application actually goes into production.